My name is Gino Zandona. We're in Dunsmuir, California. I am a pilot for the California Wetfish Producers. We're doing surveys over the Pacific to find out an abundance of the sardine schools. What inspires me about uh, California is Northern California coast. It is the most beautiful coast there is. You've got the beautiful hills, you've got the lush green area, just the natural forest, green year round versus say like Southern California or often Texas where it gets dry during the summer and extremely hot. Up in Northern California, it's, it stays pretty cool year round. I've actually been waiting three weeks to get over there just because of all the marine layer, the clouds and the constant rain. While flying over the ocean, I go 35 miles out and later I'll be going 100 miles out over the Pacific at 4,000 feet, which is not very high. If my engine was to cut out, it ain't gonna take long before I'm swimming. We're trying to find an abundance or document the abundance of sardine schools to show that we have quite a few uh, fish still out there uh, to be caught for the uh, commercial fishermen. Most of this fish will go off to Russia or Japan. What I'm trying to do is photograph. You can see underneath the airplane, I have a Cessna cam. It's a $30,000 camera mounted under the airplane and I'm taking photos. It takes a picture about every 15 seconds. And with that, it'll document every school of fish that I fly under or fly over. And I'm going to be flying transects. I'm going to be flying straight out and zigzagging in and out of the coast from the shoreline 35 miles out all day. Uh, we've been at this for uh, four weeks now and we're going to continue until September 15th, like another couple weeks. But uh, every day lasts about 10 days, 10 hours for me, a uh, few days even longer, 12 to 15 hours, and between 8 to 10 hours of flight time. This information will go back to the California Wetfish Producers, which with the help of Dr. Hannon, we are going to present this in front of several star panels, the Department of Fish and Game, the Department of Fish and Wildlife, to show an abundance of the schools of fish.